Did you think our vengeance was done, Savior? Oh no, it has only begun.
far too much baggage. too much baggage. Yes. Remember, we do this for freedom.
that it cannot be extinguished. There is no shame in falling to a god. Shame lies only in refusing to rise again. You shall soar. That much I am permitted to foresee. You shall ascend to the peak of your loftiest mistake, and from there you shall pluck a single surviving hope from the jaws of immortal despair. A ship sails for Lion Eyes Watch not far from here. Be on it. I'm Captain Lily Roth, and we sail for Rayclast. Better to live in exile than die on this psychotic bonfire of an island. You want to make it out of here, you'd better get on board. But make it quick, because I ain't got time for tears and regrets. Time and tide wait for no man. Good tidings to you. Remember, this ain't no charity run. You owe me. Cast off! All right, we're safe for the time being. Now let me introduce myself properly. Lily Roth. Yep, I'm one of those Roths. Some call me smuggler, others pirate. Yeah, I prefer the sound of nautical entrepreneur. I came up with that one myself. So you come see Lily if you need something, or even if you just fancy a good chat with a lovely lady. Don't think I'd be forgetting that favour you owe to me. In fact, now I think of it, there's certainly a way you can be repaying this most considerable debt. You see, those blasted cultists have been plundering the refugee ships trying to escape Aureus. And if not for my incomparable skill as a sea captain, We'd have met the same fate. But now the drowned dead are washing ashore, and they ain't staying dead. There's been a whole lot of blood, sweat, and tears getting these few lucky survivors here in one piece. What sort of captain would I be if I let them get ripped apart by walking corpses? Wipe the twilight strand clean of those filthy undead bars, and I'll call us even. Might even throw in a little something extra if you can pull it off. Waylam Roth. Here, let me share something I remember from my granddaddy's stories. No sooner had the others turned in fear from the great white Leviathan did Waylam load the ballista with his final harpoon. And right then he vowed to sea and sky that he and he alone would be the one to finally kill this bastard son of the Brine King. The ballista fired and the harpoon smote that creature right between the ribs as it made to dive back under the angry sea. Thick clouds of blood bloomed beneath the waves, roses flowering in the black water, and impossible though it seemed, the already shadowed ocean grew darker still. He used the bones of the great beast to reinforce the hull of his ship, the Black Crest. Old Rottooth, he's a true legend, a real pirate hero. I can only hope one day, my own stories will reach his ears and make him proud of the granddaughter he had to leave behind. That's Scallywag. I reckon Bestel thinks I'd be the kind of lass who'll bed down with any sort of rascal. Not too far off, I guess. He is rather sweet, but not the most comely of figures. Actually, he kind of reminds me of my grandfather, Waylon Roth, a poet and scoundrel extraordinaire he be. Bestel's but spittle from the mouth of old Rottooth Roth. Ahem. Bust my blind cheek, said the sailor to the doxy. She sports her dairy treats afar and relishes her moxie. But a fire ship will sink the broken neath the ocean waves. Tip nutmegs a deadly token sends captains to their graves. Mm. 
Yeah, I knew Tarkley, if you catch me drift. He's got no time for his old bunkmate these days, though. Too gaga eyed over his lost cause of a fishwife, Nessa. Time was, Tarkley and I would smuggle all about the coast of Oriath. Oh, good days they was. Sweet with rum, nothing but the wind and salt in our faces. Freedom in our hearts, and the law on our tails. But I could tell he were getting ready to make feet for children's stockings with me, so I cut him loose. Not a spark's chance under the ocean, the dreaded lily wrath's gonna wind up swelling like some drowned carcass. Still, nice to work with that bugger one more time, just for old time's sake, you know? Time and tide wait for no man. Despite your best efforts, Beast Slayer, a splinter of hope remains. The very seed that brought my beast into existence, the Dark Ember. Never again shall it birth a life so magnificent as the beast, yet a residue of that power still lingers. Enough to give us a fighting chance against the ravenous Kitava. How do we obtain this Dark Ember? Three hearts were silenced. Three hearts must sing again, one last time. In that final flickering of life, our savior's seed shall be born. All I need are three fine souls with which to stoke the flames. Chevron of Umbra, Inquisitor Maligaro, Doldre the Dark Tongue. Three spirits of near unfathomable resilience and vigor, freed with the beast's final exhalation. So let us begin the harvest. Chevron has come home to Axiom. We shall give her the warm welcome she sincerely deserves. If she is to be of any use to us, the Umbra spirit must be wrenched from her mortal manifestation and lashed to our greater cause. That is your task. For my part, I shall negotiate the terms of her cooperation. With a tragic kiss and lasting embrace, her essence shall pass into me as if she were a sweet breath from the mouth of my lover. It is a sacrosanct sacrifice for all involved. Thankfully for you, all I ask is that you do what you clearly do best. Kill. Ambition is the bane of mortality. It was through ambition that we gods transcended the thick mud and thin blood of our mundane birthrights. Ambition that drove us to sustain our divine selves through the subjugation of others. Chevron's soul is made up of one part ambition and two parts raw, unbounded passion. Such a volatile spark shall burn briefly and brightly in even the most deadened of hearts. I shall put this simply, for in truth everything comes down to the simple act of planting a seed in the ground. The gods are rising because you slew the one creature that prevented them from doing so. Your name for it is the Beast. It was I who planted the seed in the rich soil beneath Highgate, who nurtured it, who watched it bloom into maturity even as I succumbed to its mollifying powers. We gods, we were driven into slumbering darkness to dream away eternity whilst the gentle beast watched over us. I would desire that we return to that blissful state, but my brothers and sisters of deism shall never submit to banishment. They have tasted freedom once more, and they shall not let go of this world until it is pried from their cold, dead hands. was never a cruel master. It didn't want to destroy, to corrupt, to terrorize. It simply existed to exist. I made it that way. Unfortunately, in neglecting to provide it with ambition, I made it vulnerable to the ambitions of others. Queen Adziri and Doriani, Emperor Chittis and Malachi, others even before them, I created a beast that would free humanity from the tyranny of the gods. Yet all I really did was provide the perfect tool with which humanity could tyrannize itself. Remember, humanity needs us.
First we hear that Oriath has lost its bloody mind, and then you turn up. Doesn't take a scholar to work out how these two events might be connected. I don't know what's going on out there, and I probably wouldn't understand it if I saw it with my own two eyes. What I do know is this. The world we knew, it's gone. But now we have to do our damnedest to make sure we don't go with it. Nessa, I saw her one night, running out across the coast, headed in the direct the mudflats. Called out to her, but she didn't even turn her head. Maybe she couldn't hear me. Maybe she didn't want to. I don't bloody know. I tried to run after her, but she'd vanished into the darkness before my feet had barely touched the sand. So I tracked her, all the way to the mudflats. And that's when her tracks, they just stopped. No sign of meeting someone or something. No sign of a struggle. It's like one moment she was running and the next, gone. Look, I've heard some things about what you've done. Things that beggar belief. Now you can do this, please. Find Nessa, bring her back to us. Stay sharp out there.